Hey. Welcome to the, the Tesla Design Studio, where we've held uh, uh, many uh, product unveilings before. If you, if you go back 11 years today, Tesla had made one car, that car. That's serial number one. And it took us another three months just to make the second car. And now uh, we've made about 550,000 cars. Yeah. But then after we had the Model S and Model X, I thought it'd be pretty funny if, if we had the Model E. Um, uh, and, yeah, and, and, and then, but then like Ford threatened to sue us. Uh, <laughs> Ford killed sex. <laughs> we made the original Roadster, the Model S, the Model X, the Model 3, and then we also uh, then made the new, new generation Roadster, which we'll bring in. Sweet. And then the, the semi. Uh, the, the, actually, the, the Tesla semi drove here nonstop all the way from the Bay Area. So that Tesla semi, a 500 mile range electric uh, semi. The, the factories are as much our, uh, are as much the product, if not more, uh, than than the, uh, the the vehicles themselves. The difficulty and value of manufacturing is underappreciated. For cars, I'd say it's it's maybe a hundred times uh, harder to design the manufacturing system than to design the vehicle itself. When we proposed the Gigafactory, I, I believe like total global output for of of, silica, of, of lithium ion batteries for all purposes, phones, laptops, silly, you know, cars, anything, was about 30 gigawatt hours. And today it, it, it produces um, more uh, lithium ion than the rest of the world combined. Now we're also building a factory in, in China, which I'm really excited about. This is what it will look like at the end of the year. This will actually be, um, once it's complete, the equivalent of our Fremont car factory plus our Nevada uh, battery gigafactory combined. Great team in China, and this is gonna be really important for making um, affordable versions of the Model 3 uh, and Model Y uh, for the, for the uh, greater China market. If besides cars, we have some other things. <laughs> so the solar roof and power wall, because of like uh, extreme challenges with the Model 3 production, uh, we have to basically allocate all resources to Model 3 production because uh, otherwise we're gonna die. Uh, and so basically, <laughs> it was pretty tight, I have to say. Um, that was a hard one. Uh, I would say like, like, t like 2018 was probably, felt like a aging five years in one, honestly. It was really intense. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, 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 thank, thank you for supporting Tesla through this difficult period. Thank you. Yeah. So PowerPack is kind of like our industrial strength uh, uh, battery storage system. Um, and uh, we, we did the, uh, the biggest battery storage system in the world in, in Australia. Um, and then we, we're doing one that's uh, roughly uh, a gigawatt hour scale uh, in, ca in California. So just uh, in Southern California, right nearby. Solar plus battery plus electric vehicles, we have a fully sustainable future. This is a future you can feel really excited and optimistic about. I think it really matters. Yeah. Supercharging team Tesla did an incredible job uh, building uh, a, a global network of superchargers that allow you to travel uh, to a massive section of, 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 the, of the world, basically anywhere in North America, almost anywhere in Europe, uh, most places in China, not the Gobi Desert yet, but most places. Um, we'll, we'll cover the Gobi Desert. We'll get there. <laughs> anyway, we're going to build a lot more superchargers. Um, and, and we have actually a, a version three of the supercharger that we just unveiled. And in fact, uh, yeah. The superchargers actually started out um, only at about 75 kilowatts. And now they're at, uh, with version three, uh, 250 kilowatts. So we think probably can even go a little, little higher than that. Um, and so if you've got a long range Model 3, it's, uh, it's capable of charging at about 1,000 miles an hour or 1,600 uh, kilometers an hour. Yeah. But now that we have version three running, and we'll, um, we're going to spool our production, and so you're going to have like um, uh, a radical improvement in supercharging uh, worldwide by sometime next year. So in terms of where we are today, uh, we've got uh, obviously the S3 and the X. Uh, we've uh, made, I think, 550,000 vehicles, something like that. Um, the the uh, 12 months from now, we will have made about a million vehicles. So. Yeah, and 4 million tons of CO2 saved. Where will Tesla be in 10 years?
you know. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> exactly. We will be driving a Tesla on Mars. I, I think we could. I think we actually could. Okay. Tesla will be on Mars in 10 years. I think it will. I think it will. What, what, what about the actual, the actual reason you came? Okay. <laughs> Bring out the Model Y. The Model Y. So, uh, like the three, uh, it, it, it will be extremely safe with the battery pack low, low in the floor. It's going to have a very low center of gravity. So this will, it, 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 it has the, the functionality of, a, of an SUV, but will, it will ride like a sports car. So it, this thing will be really tight in corners. Uh, and we expect it will be this, the, the safest uh, a mid-sized SUV in the world by far. It's also going to be, have incredible performance. So we expect to have a, a three and a half seconds, zero to 60. It's testing out at a 0.23 drag coefficient, which is extremely good for an SUV. So we expect to have an EPA range of, uh, an actual true usable range of 300 miles. So it's gonna have a panoramic gra glass roof. It like really feels like, just like the Model 3, if you're in the car, it just feels like you're, you can see the sky. Seat seven, 66 cubic feet, um, obviously autopilot and you know, all that. As I've said publicly, we expect to be feature complete with, uh, with self-driving sometime later this year. Um, and then uh, as, as we prove out the safety with uh, billions of miles and kilometers, uh, uh, we will, uh, from our standpoint, feel it's like safe enough to not pay attention and then get the regulatory approval sometime thereafter. Um, but the, the cool thing is feature complete. Like it, it'll be able to do basically anything um, uh, by the end of this year, um, just, with soft, just with software upgrades. The basically long range one we expect to be about $47,000. And then sometime in 2021, we'll have the, the sort of standard version, which will be, have a $39,000 price point. So, yeah. Uh, no, the seven seats are optional. Yeah, I, I'm confident that it, it, it'll be the, 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 the of, of any mid-size SUV, it'll be the one you want. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it'll probably sell, I think we'll probably do more Model Ys than S X and three combined, most likely. Yeah. So there you have the sexy presentation. I I love you too. I love you too. Um, we are bringing sexy back quite literally. <laughs> All right. Thank you.